by Microtron TV. So, um, I wanted to tell y'all a quick story. Well, I have a video that says the craziest thing that I witnessed in the county jail was somebody doing a swan dive off the top pier. I mean, it was up there. But, I had forgot about the time that I saw someone get stabbed with a pencil. Um, and it's crazy, because the very first jail I ever went to was Buncombe County Jail. No, it was... I had been to Henderson County Jail before that, but the very first jail that I stayed for multiple months was uh, Buncombe County. And that's Asheville. And this was in 2005. <clears throat> for some reason, I don't know why, but they would give out full-length pencils. Full-length. First time I've ever seen that. You know, the first time I... Yeah, Henderson County give you little golf pencils like they give you everywhere else. Now they just give you the bendy, bendy pens, but this was in 2005. They give them long ass janks. The I mean, you could go up there and sharpen it whenever you wanted to. Okay. I was on. I was on the nonviolent offender for uh, six east. I know it's all changed now. So if somebody's watching this from Asheville. Yeah, I know six east is something completely different, but this was when they were building the new jail. Um. So, <clears throat> it. I was in there, there is um, a boys' school up there in, in Swanoa, Swanoa Boys' School, and they had had a riot, and there was a lot of them in county that um, that were in there for, for, they had caught new charges during the riot. So I was in there with a lot of green bands, <clears throat> uh, which are adolescents, and, you know, they were all in prison, basically, you know. The youth, the not even the youth spreads, the um, the juvie prison, you know, the long term boys schools, they were all in there, and there was probably fifty, probably half the block was juvenile, um, and I was like I said, nineteen at the time, um, and you know there were still adults, still a lot of older fellows in there, but they were all supposedly nonviolent offenders because they had a violent offender block or floor too, But anyways, what I was getting at was, um, you know, you had a lot of petty shit. You had a lot of, uh, a lot of the green bands would talk shit to the orange bands. And, um, you know, being the, the adolescents would talk a lot of shit to the adults. Because they knew if the adults put hands on them, um, they would get a, a assault on a minor or whatever it is. I don't know. I never heard of that shit, but. I know it's a different charge. It's a more serious charge. <clears throat> but um, what I was getting at was, okay, <clears throat> uh, we had, I had, I think I was actually on lockdown because in Buncombe County, the, instead of sending you to the hole, they'll give you like several six hour, what they call six hour lockbacks, which basically means you lose your six hours of free time that day. And yeah, Buncombe County used to give six hours of free time. You got an hour and a half in the morning. You got, um, let's see, you probably, I think you got like uh, another hour and a half, and then you got three hours at night time. Either way, if they say, if they came across your, your little uh, intercom and said six hours locked back, Cause they were bad about doing that shit, man. They would, once they would lock us down, the CO would leave the booth or, you know, the little table because they were, you know, open or direct supervision there. And what they would do is you would think, oh, they're going to take a break, but really they were going over to six, uh, 6 West and they were just going to every room with the phone listening to see what you're doing. And if you were yelling or making noise, they locked you back, you know. So, um... I think I was locked back, so they were bringing me my trays up to my room, and uh, at this place, whenever they, whenever it's child time, they open all the doors, everybody comes down, they eat, and then they go back, and I was, you know, I had to eat in my room, so I was watching from upstairs, because I knew that there was some beef, some shit going on, and I figured it was probably going to pop off first thing in the morning, and um, so I'm watching them, and they eat, and the one guy uh, puts his tray up. Like I said, this is a long time ago. I'm trying. All I remember 
was there was a white dude and a black dude, and they were both adolescents. They both had came from the boys' school. And the black dude had put his stuff up and was starting to walk towards the stairs. The white dude grabbed, and when they had these big, the big ass fucking plastic trays, grabs it and fucking just hay makes his ass fucking tees off on his face with that damn tray. I gotta give it to the black dude, man. Um, after he got the shit knocked out of him, he he kept going, you know. They called the goon squad in there and they shut it down. They um they sent both of them to four max, I guess is where they sent. But they couldn't send. They had to put them both back on the same pod because I don't know why they did that. I assume that they could all they had to keep them all together or something. I don't know. But when they came back, they came back at different times. But they came, both came back to the same block, which makes no sense. But um, so, you know, some time went by, we're out on the, um, the nighttime wreck, and, um, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm playing cards with the white dude, you know, uh, the, the white adolescent dude, he was actually a pretty cool guy, um, and the black dude's walking around, and you, you know, the shit wasn't dead, everybody knew it wasn't dead, cause, you know, they, before that, they had been cool, they were friends, and now, you know, you know, it wasn't a friendly fade. It was, it was, you know, somebody's gonna get their get backs, and he did. So he's walking around, and the dude, you know, he's watching him out of the corner of his eye every time he walks by. And um, and see, in Bunker County, you can't, you can't openly trade anything. You get caught handing somebody a piece of bread, and you hear that the the phone start ringing at the tape at the CS booth. You know, you probably got popped because they got a big old eye in the sky and they'll call your name out and lock you back. So we, we all would have to smuggle our commissary down there to trade at the card, or, you know, to, to gamble at the card table. So, um, <clears throat> I think it was the end of a game. We were playing spades and dude was going to pay up. So he reaches down in his sock to get whatever it was, soup or candy or whatever because that's how you had to get it down there when you're big big jumper. You didn't have no pockets in it, but... It had big legs so you could put shit in your sock and take it down and nobody would really notice. It wasn't like they were shaking down as soon as you came down. You know, they, they never hardly ever did that um, where they would pat you down in the day room. Um, but they would catch you doing shit all the time. But he reaches down and he had his back to the corner. We were in the corner, little octagon table and where the dude was walking laps uh, the dude had his back to the corner, but he had kind of turned his leg and was watching him every time he would walk by. And the fucking dude runs up to him and he fucking, he starts stabbing him while, okay. So what I was getting at was the dude was reaching down in his sock to get, you know, can't you not, we'd have to pass it under the table. He wasn't paying attention and it was like he was just waiting for that moment. The black dude was waiting for that moment. And he comes up to him and just starts sticking him with that, with that, um, pencil, man. And I'm just sitting here like, is this fucking, like, because at first it looked like he was just hitting him. But then you start seeing his hand, it's like sideways, man. He's like, it's like, but he was going so fast you didn't see the pencil at first. But then you started seeing the fucking pencil. And we were all in white, white jumpsuits. And he was leaking bad. Um, you know, he had blood all over him. You know, the goon squad, it took them a minute to get up there. I don't know, they must not have been paying attention on the cameras or the CO wasn't. And he was just taking off. He probably got a good 10, 15 seconds before somebody noticed whatever was going on. Okay, and white dude, I guess he's just fucking like thinking he's just hitting him or something. So he's getting up and doing whatever. And they start tussling. And the goon squad gets up there and you're like, damn, this dude is leaking blood everywhere. Um, it's all over his whites. It's, it's obvious by then that the dude got fucking stabbed. Um... And so the gun squad comes up there, and they give them, and they come up there yelling and shit. You know, they had mace, big old, them big old mace sprays. Um, but that's for another day. That's a story for another day. But yeah, man, um, they locked him down. I mean, the dude, the dude got stuck, man, multiple times by a leaded pencil. One of the, you know, the regular pencils, man. Um, and it was, it was a bad. You know, it was a bad sight, man. It was the it was the first it was the first stabbing I ever seen in jail. Um, 
and I was only 19, um, you know, I was a green, I was green as fuck, so, you know, I didn't, you know, I just wanted to sit there and watch it until I realized the dude was getting fucking poked up, um, but yeah, man, um, that is the first time, I, I think I'm gonna la or label this video the first time I saw someone get stabbed in county, um, cause I was gonna label it the second craziest thing that I've seen, but. I just basically forgot about it, um, and something just clicked in my mind. But yeah, man, if you like this stuff, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, notification bell, man. I could really use some uh, subscribers, because I love telling my story on here, and I've got a lot of stories. It's just like anybody else that's trying to do this YouTube thing. You know, most of my stories are going to be from the streets, and active addiction, um, but I also have a lot of stories from lockup. So, you know, if you like I said, if you if you like it, hit that like and smash that subscribe button. Microtron over and out.